I am Debbie Cronister. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this morning, we're going to look at another of the in colors. So this morning, we're going to look at Petunia Pop. And it is this beautiful, um, it's not Highland Heather. Highland Heather has more, oh, let me show you. I just scribbled with my blend. So Highland Heather is here. Fresh Freesia is here. And this is Petunia Pop. So it's a little bit more red. So I'm going to also show you a unique technique that I am doing this month um, with my clubs. And so let me get started. Where did I lose my card? Okay. So I cut my card at 8 inches. Oops, I have the wrong side over here. But it's 8 inches by uh, 5 and a quarter. And I have stamped what I'm going to do. Let me just show you. So this one is not cut the right size yet. So let's cut it at five and a quarter. And I'm using the beautiful zinnias once again because they are just perfect for this. And because I've got this scored in the middle, I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to fold it in half, which I don't usually do, and cut it. So it's going to be four inches, which means you'll cut yours at eight inches by five and a quarter. And I want to do that because I want to put it on another, on another card base to give it a different, a little more of the petunia pop. So I will need to cut a piece of that. So before I get rid of my trimmer here, let me cut this at four and a quarter by five and a half. Oops, that's not five and a quarter to start with. Let's grab another piece here. And let's cut this one to four and a quarter first so we don't waste the other side. And by five and a half. So this is going to be, basically, this is going to be our card base. So, but we're going to do fun, something fun with that, uh, with the other part. Okay, so let's cut. Those two aside for now, we're going to work with our card front. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the um, Zinnias, and this is an online exclusive. You can order it online. You can go to my web, my um, Stampin' Up! page and order it online. You can contact me and tell me you want to order it. I love this. Um, I'm doing a class on this. It's too late to sign up. Um, you need to sign up by noon today, Pacific time. So, um, but I am not using the stamps or the dies for the class. I'm just using the DSP. Okay, so then I'm just going to stamp this a little bit off to the right and hopefully centered from top to bottom. And the big stamp, so we want to get good even pressure. Okay, then I would color this. Okay, so that's what that part looks like. And then I'm going to color it. And I've done all the coloring except for finishing up this zinnia. Um, and the petunia pop light is what I used for that, if I remember right. And so I have, um, but look at the difference in those colors. And yet they still go together very well. Um, If I can do this without coloring my little stars. So my little stars are colored in Daffodil Delight. This is Highland Heather and this is Fresh, Fresh Freesia. Okay, so let me grab my die cut machine. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. And we're going to bring in the stamp and cut and emboss. Just get the plates that I need. I am using the old magnetic platform and two clear plates. Hopefully they're still clear, right? And let's bring that in here. Just like that, so you guys can see what I'm doing, because this is the important part. Okay, so I have my plate. I have 
my magnetic platform. Now, if you don't have the magnetic platform, you would use your standard plate and the um, shim. So you would use, what are they called, um, number two and number one. Okay, so you would use these two if you don't have the magnetic platform. And let's just do that. We don't need that magnetic platform for what we're doing today. Okay, so I have number two, number one, and I'm going to put down a number three. Okay, then I'm going to put my card in here, and I'm going to put my die in here. Okay. This is why I like the magnetic platform. Let me grab a piece of tape. Okay. Or two. The thing is, is I, oh, here's one that's sticky. I don't want, I want this to stay in play, but I have to be very careful because this card, this part is one, what I want to preserve as well as the other part. Okay, I'm going to move this so I can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my plate, this is called um, partial die cutting. I'm going to slip this plate in here, figure out where I want to go, and I'm going to cut that. Just right there, I think. Would you like that, I think? <laughs> okay, here we go. This is it. It's all over now. <laughs> and it's going to make a loud noise, guys, when it pops out of here. Okay. I'm going to slide that back through. Just, and let's get this out of the way. Get back where it came from. Okay. And I'm going to show you some other samples that I did. Um, I'm doing this in my clubs this month, so I have a couple of samples I can show you. So if you're in my club, guys, and you know how to do it, I won't even have to come and teach you. So I expect you guys to all know. <laughs> okay, so then I have this section, which is going to come out. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer back here again. This is the easiest way. If you're real good at cutting a straight line, then go for it, but I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut between the end, the bottom of the, um, I hope I'm still on there, the bottom of my stem here and the top of this flower. So let's go. And you're just going to line it up, and you're just going to guess. You'll be able to feel when you get to that bottom of that stem, and then lift your cutter, your blade, and come down to that flower. Okay. So now it's part of my card there. Okay. Then I have two pieces of... the um, petunia pop, one of them I'm going to attach to the, the back right here to make my card full size. So let's get some glue. See my video spinning on Facebook, which worries me. That means I may not have a recording today, guys. So um, I will still put pictures and stuff on my blog, but... I have a ton of things to do today. I have a meeting tonight. I have a meeting tomorrow. And I have a class tomorrow morning. So I've got a lot going on to finish prepping for. Okay, we need a greeting on here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried that to sneeze. Let's do the thank you so much. This is such a pretty card and it's small greeting. And so I think I'm going to put it at the top. And so let's open this up flat. And we'll get a block here for that. And just pick it up with some Memento ink. 
And this thank you so much is part of the Simply Zine Yet. There we go. So pretty. And then I'm going to put this on the inside. Whoops, I have to cut that down. I didn't cut it down far enough. It's better too big than too small, right? We can always cut it down. So let's go with three and three quarters by five. This might be a good place to put one of the in color papers, the designer series papers. I'm not sure if I'm showing up on Facebook or not anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. But my computer is just, my video is spinning on my computer. So we're going to ignore it. Okay. So do I want that? I really don't. I don't think it goes well with the other flowers. But I think this goes okay. Okay. So I'm going to add that to the inside just so that it comes over to that side. And then I am going to... Um, I have a two inch strip here that I thought I would put in there, but I'm not going to. I think that you can, um, write on that paper. I think it's light enough in color to light, to write on it. So let's get some bling. I think that we'll do the shimmer. I think that'll be pretty on there. And I'm going to use the Petunia Pop <coughs> Shimmer for the front. And let's go ahead and attach this to the inside. I don't usually write on color, so it's real funny to do this. But I think it would be fine. I think black ink would show up just fine on there. And I think it needs that. It doesn't need to be on the white. I could have moved my flowers over a little bit so that I'd have a little more of that area showing. Um, and if I did it again, that's what I would do. So let's just add some bling. I'm using the large because I do have a big space here that I'm just going to go right around that flower. Just like that. There we go. Uh, ribbon. Can we put a ribbon on it? Petunia Pop has a coordinating ribbon, which is really nice. So let's try, let's try it. Let's just do this is, um, this ribbon is so amazing. It makes a beautiful bow and you can make a small bow because you can pull it back and work it until it's a small bow. And that's what I want is just a really small bow for that. So. It does kind of pull apart if you're, careful, if you're not careful. Okay, we're going to add that bow right in there. So let me grab some glue dots. And let's just stick that bow right there. I think it ties it all together. It needed something. It was still blank looking. All right, there we go. And that is my card for today. Like I said, I will post this on my blog. I don't know if I'll have a video or not. We'll see what Facebook's decided to do. It wanted me to update. So it may be that it just didn't do my video because I didn't update. You can find me at stampwithdeb.com. I can't find my sign this morning. My room is a disaster and I don't function well in that. Um, I couldn't even find my Stamp with Deb sign this morning. So guys, Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate each one of you spending time with me this morning, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.